We are going to look at refraction today. And for refraction, that is when light is going to travel through something. Uh, and it really matters whether this stuff is more dense or less dense or, or whatever. But uh, to look at that, we'll again use the laser. But the problem with looking at a laser going through water is you can't see the laser going through the water. You need to see the laser like hitting something like the paper. Uh, so there we need to make use of the Tyndall effect. Uh, so this is one of the places where uh, grouchy people like to like mock Star Wars because you can like see the blasters flying through space. So you can't uh, see lasers as they fly through space unless they're bouncing off of something. So the Tyndall effect is uh, when light is bouncing off of stuff so you can see it. It's caused by suspensions and colloids and that kind of stuff. So, you know, the uh, light, when you see the barn thing, when uh, in like scary movies and, and stuff like that, when like somebody goes into a dark barn or whatever, and there's like light coming in behind them. And you can see that. So I put some kaolin powder in there. Uh, and as that gets stirred up with my very nice glass stirring rod that I'm using here, because it was handy. Now we can kind of see that light uh going through there maybe i'll get this down a little closer so we can see maybe we can see the light a little better there um i'm gonna pause this well i'm just gonna cut all this out here at about a minute 30. we're gonna cut out a bunch With the lights off, it might be a little easier to see. So the light, as it comes in here, we can see that kind of red beam there. That's a Tyndall effect. So it's it's scattering off of those particles floating around in the water so we can kind of see where that path goes. We won't be able to see it going into the water, but we can at least see it uh, as it travels through the water. So refraction is how light bends as it goes into this new medium. So if it comes in right at 90 degrees, it's not going to bend at all. But what happens when it comes in not at 90 degrees? Right. So I'm going from a less dense media like air into water. So I'm going from air into water. And if we look, uh, let's go ahead and raise it back up just a tiny bit. We need to be able to see both our angles here. So if I come in at 40 degrees. Right. I come in at 40 degrees. You can see that it's going out at about 30 degrees. Right. So it's coming in at 40 degrees and coming out at 30 degrees. Uh, if I come in at 50 degrees. It looks like it's coming out at just shy of 40, like a 38 kind of thing, right? So the more it bends as it goes into light, the more dense that or the more dense that material is, the more it's going to cause the light to bend. Uh, and so again, we make a normal kind of like we did with our uh, reflected things off the mirrors. And then we, we measure our angles off of that. So this is uh, about 65 degrees now. And then it is coming out again off of the normal uh, at about 55 degrees, right? Wait, no, more like 45 degrees. Yeah, so 65 clear down to 45 degrees, maybe maybe 48 degrees, uh, something like that, right? You should go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I don't know how well you can see the numbers there, but we don't want to measure up from the side. We measure out from the angle uh, on those. If, on the other hand, we spin this around, so now I'm going to go in at 90 degrees here, right? So this 40, when I'm coming in at 40 degrees right here, it's at 90. So see how it's not, it's making a straight line uh, with the water. But now it comes out over here and look at it bends away from the normal. 
So as I go from a more dense media to a less dense media, it's actually gonna turn away from the normal. So if I come in here at 45 degrees, I'm coming out at 68 degrees, right? So if I come in at 45, I'm going out at 68. So we can use some of those for calculations. So if we go in at 45, we'll go ahead and write that down, out at, uh, what was it, 68? And we can use that for calculations uh, here in a little bit to figure out what the refractive index is. If I go in at 10, I'm gonna come out at like 25. Oh, you can't see that, can you? If I go in at 10, oh, I was off a little bit there, not 25, more like 17, 18, 18. If I go in at 10, I'm out at 18. So when you go from a more dense media to a less dense media, you're gonna bend away from the normal. As you go from a less dense media to a more dense media, you're gonna to bend towards the normal. That's a big take home for that. And then how we calculate that and stuff we'll worry about in uh, uh, the next video.